Hi, and welcome to Behind the Bar and our episode on how to make the Tom Collins cocktail. No list of gin classics would be complete without the godfather of them all, the Tom Collins. The soda water here makes this a perfect afternoon tipple when the sun is out, keeping you both hydrated and revitalised. The Tom Collins is part of a whole family of cocktails, one of the oldest and most illustrious families of cocktails, so we should definitely dedicate a full episode to them. If you reckon that's something you would like to hear a bit more about, then why don't you subscribe and hit the little notification bell. The Collins family of cocktails are essentially lengthened versions of sour cocktails. So you've got your base spirit with the citrus and the sweetener, but then topped up with soda water in a highball glass, which obviously just makes them a bit longer and more refreshing. Now for this drink, you are going to build directly into the glass. So it really is one of the easiest gin cocktail recipes you can make. All you need is a jigger, a highball glass and a bar spoon, although even that's not really necessary if you're happy just to use your finger to stir. But as always, we're going to get our garnish ready first. So you need a lemon twist. So just cut into the lemon, then go back and take as much of the bitter white pith off as you can. I'm going to trim it down a little bit because I went a little bit overboard and ostentatious on this one. Then you can use the same lemon for your lemon juice. I just do a little cross score in the lemon and it just means when you squeeze you don't have to fight the lemon quite as much. It makes it uh, capitulate a little bit easier. And we're also going to pop a little cherry garnish on this. Really just because the Tom Collins comes from the era where every single cocktail pretty much was garnished with a cherry. And I like any excuse for a snack. So grab out your chilled highball glass and you want 30 mils of lemon juice and 15 mils of sugar syrup. And you want 60 mils of gin. Now I actually am using an old Tom gin for this. So this was a style of gin which was pretty popular when the Tom Collins came about. Uh, it's a gin which has um, sometimes actually some sugar added, but definitely a lot kind of sweeter style botanicals. Back in the day, it was basically to mask a not very good base spirit um, and was the forerunner to London dry gins. So if you can find that style, then it does just add a little bit of sweetness and roundness to your finished cocktail. Um, but if you can't, then absolutely just grab any London dry gin and that will be very tasty also. it would just be a little bit fresher. Top with soda water. I usually start with about 120 mils if it's quite a large highball glass. I do tend to add the soda water in before I add the ice um, to make sure that it's properly incorporated because obviously otherwise you'll add the ice in and then the soda water and all of your booze and everything else will sit down at the bottom and it'll take a little bit more kind of effort to stir it through. If you add the soda water first, it's already pre-mixed. Um, it does mean that unless you sort of are pretty familiar with the size of your glass, that it is a little bit of a guessing game as to how much soda water you want to put in. Uh, I generally go to just under the halfway point and obviously you can always top it up at the end if you've slightly uh, under diluted it. You'd much rather do that than add too much soda water and have it spilling everywhere. Add your ice. The whole point of this drink is for it to be spritzy and refreshing uh, and so you want to pack as much ice in as possible so that it'll get really cold and stay really cold without diluting too much. So try and make it so that none of your ice cubes are floating off the bottom of the glass. You want it packed full of ice. Then grab a little bar spoon and give it a stir. If you don't have a bar spoon and you're at home, then your finger works just as well. Probably don't do it in a bar and try and charge someone $20 for a cocktail though. Give it a little taste. Mm, so lemony. Then pop in a straw, grab your twist and give it a little fold over the top. Then pop your cherry in as well and you're ready to serve. So now you know. There's definitely a reason why this is a classic. It's just so simple and so tasty. It's basically like an adult lemonade and the soda water is very thirst quenching. Uh, so perfect for a summer afternoon. The Tom Collins, a must in any bartender's repertoire.